guys, this is Damien from Marketing Food Online, and I've had a lot of requests on how to ship a sweet potato pie and pies that are actually soft on the top. I did a really cool video in regards to how to ship pies before, but they were not like this. So I'm going to show you how you can safely ship these types of pies in the mail, and I'm going to get to that right now. So as I mentioned in that introduction, I'm going to go over the different steps that you can ship a soft top, as we call them here, soft top pies. And that's going to be anything like a sweet potato pie or a pumpkin pie for the holidays. If you make a fantastic pumpkin pie, but you're hesitant to ship it because you don't know exactly how to do that, I'm going to give you the step-by-step -step tips on how we do it and the products that you'll need to do that right. So let me flip the camera around and I'm going to show you the the, uh, the ingredients, if you will, for packaging them right. And then we're going to hop right into it, and I'm going to show you how I do it, okay? Now, <clears throat> I have to have a little bit of honesty here. The pie that I'm actually packaging, due to our, our filming schedule, we have a lot of businesses going on online, of course, as you know, but then our filming schedule for our YouTube channels, which we've got about five of them, is very, very tight. So I did not make this pie, I'll be honest with you, but... The pie that, is, that I'm going to ship is going to be a pumpkin pie, but it's actually Patty LaBelle's pie. And I say that because we bought it at the store, and that's my transparency, if you will. So let's hop right into it. It's very simple, guys. You will need deli paper. And I'll, by the way, I'll give you links to everything I'm about to show you. I'll show you down in the description. Below the video, just click on the description section, let it open up, and there'll be some links for all of this stuff. And I'll show you exactly how we do it. So you're going to need some deli paper. It's 6 by 10 Okay, now you are going to need to do this right, guys. Seriously, if you want to do this right, you have to have the right equipment. So there, there may be a little bit of, of investment here, and I'm not going to lie to you. These bubble wrap, okay, and the regular bubble wrap, the little round beads will work just as fine, just as good. This is what I have in stock right now for our shipping. These are like little rectangular bubble wraps, and this is going to be really important that you have this. We've got to watch till the end of the video when I do my throw test. As you guys may or may not have seen, I've done three videos on different types of food products, shipping them, and I always do the throw test. That's when I get the box and I throw it across our shipping department to prove to you that this is the best way to do it so the pie arrives like this and not like a bowl of oatmeal, okay? All right, paper, you got that. And, of course, you need your pie. By the way, this is, I think, a six-inch. Is this a six-inch? Yeah. This isn't a nine. This is a really small one. My hand uh, is, is pretty big, and it actually goes over the whole pie. So six inch, okay? And that, and then you'll need a pie box. Now, as I mentioned, this is not my pie box. I'm going to be honest. It's Patty LaBelle's. She makes an amazing sweet potato pie, by the way. This is sweet potato, not pumpkin, but this is exactly the same texture on the top. That's the most important part, and we're going to jump into it. Let, let me get over to my shipping, shipping area, and let me show you. So as I mentioned, there are some items of equipment that you may need to do this actually you're going to need not may this is our commercial heating gun okay this is what we're going to use to shrink wrap and i'm going to show you how we do it of course we're going to shrink wrap that pie using the paper but we definitely need the gun okay this link will be down below these are really inexpensive guys and by the way if you actually want to start a pie company online and shipping pies these methods will work perfect so if you want to turn your pie hobby into a business this is the method that you need. Okay, Uline shriek wrap, economy, um, poly, poly, F, i I'm sorry. Uh, this is the 60 gauge. This is a gigantic roll. Of course, we do a lot of shipping here. And this is the Big Daddy heat sealer. Now, you don't need this, but you can just use a single. I'll have down in the description the little arm, the one arm um, heat sealing machine, which is like about 50, 60 bucks. This is about $400. You don't need this Big Daddy. This is actually foot uh foot sealed it's pretty cool but anyways this is for commercial use so this is what we're going to use to seal the box all right so let me pause you for one second and set up the camera so i can show you how we do this all right so fantastic here we go so we're on our little shipping table uh here and i want to show you how we're going to ship this safely sorry for the camera moving a little bit there i'm trying to make it focused well, my videos some of them may not be that pretty but the information definitely is <laughs> sorry so all right so you got your pie you got your paper now you're going to need your pie box. Now, listen, this is a six-inch pie. So this is a small one that fits a six-inch box that is a pie box. 
you're going to need a pie box, but traditionally these are going to be nine inch. If you're doing a nine inch pie, which 99% of you probably are doing it, okay? I'm sure it's nine inch. You're going to need a pie box for a nine inch pie. Keep that in mind, ultra important. This is a smaller version. Now, you've got your paper. You take out your paper, and when you do, you're going to take this, and I'm going to show you here. We're going to set this. This is a very soft, as we mentioned, soft top, right? Now, if you simply shrink wrap this, okay? By the way, really quick, do not use saran wrap. You can't use saran wrap. I've had a lot of you ask questions about using saran wrap on pies. My other video showed you how to ship an apple pie. You've got to have shrink wrap. Why? Because the shrink wrap secures the pie to the pan. It doesn't draw the air out. It adheres to, it's a food grade. It's that you're able to uh, have direct food contact. So the plastic can touch food. That's perfectly fine. But shrink wrap, if you wrap as a shrink wrap, it's going to move in the box. All that shrink wrap is going to come off and the pie is going to be all over the box. Don't do that, please. Okay, so your folded paper, you're going to set one on top, right? Then you're going to turn it 50 degree or 60, 130, whatever it is, uh, halfway around. <laughs> Sorry. It's been a long day. So uh, halfway around, then you're going to take another one. And you're going to set that one in the opposite direction. All right, so now the surface, the wet surface, the wet portion of the pie is, is covered, okay? So now what you need to do is get your shrink wrap. So bear with me. I'm going to get your shrink wrap. Let's move this out of the way. So let me reach over here really quick and get this shrink wrap, okay? All right, so here's what I did. Took off a little sheet of shrink wrap, okay? I had to seal up. You, when you get this shrink wrap, you have to seal one side of it. And then shrink wrap and seal the other side of it. Heat seal it, I mean. See? See that there? So both sides are sealed and the back is already sealed. So there's only one open. It's like a little pocket. And this is where you insert the pie. So you're going to take the pie and you're going to put it right in to the back. Cool? Got it? Very simple. And I'll show you real close. All right. So we have it in the bag, sealed on this side, sealed. So you're going to have a little extra. That's fine. Not a big deal, guys. Not a big deal. So I usually just take that and just fold it under. And this is the side that's still open, right? So this side has to be heat sealed. So let me just kind of get, bear with me. I'm going to hop it from the camera. All right, so we're back. All right, got this here and I sealed the side. So now we're going to shrink wrap it. Now watch. And press it down just ever so lightly and then keep the heat. You got to move the gun around and heat seal this, okay? And then on the bottom, all of that extra shrink wrap, seal it up. Seal it up. Be very cautious though, your hands could get burnt. Now, done, okay? Now, that's sealed. See? Now, why would we do, why would we not just shrink wrap this and why do we have to put the paper? Because when you get this and ship this to someone, when they get it and it's delivered, they take off this plastic. There's going to be a slight amount of this. This is a moist cake, of course. This is the only only way to ship it safely. But when it gets there, they're gonna peel that off. There's a little bit of that's gonna to stick to the top, the surface, okay? That's gonna be expected. There's no way to get around that, okay? But you don't want it sticking to this top surface here because it, it, this is much more stickier than this paper. This is a wax paper, so it's made to not stick, okay? But it's gonna have just a little bit of that, of that pumpkin pie is gonna be stuck. But see how secure it is? It ain't going nowhere. So in transit, when it's shipped, the top of that surface of the pumpkin pie, it's not going to be anywhere. It's not going to be in the box. It's going to be perfect. Then, okay, as I said before, imagine this as a blank. This isn't, you know, like I said, this is Patty LaBelle's. But the box is, is your white, plain old box. You can put your own sticker on it. Now put it back in the box. Of course, fo fold it up. And, of course, when you've got your brand new box, this is obviously open. But your brand new box, you could seal it, and then you're all set. Now look at this. This pie... It's going nowhere. Okay, so now let's ship it. All right. Now, what do I use? Damien, what do you use to ship pies and cakes? Okay, the free boxes. Don't don't pay for a box. This is uh, the number seven priority mailbox. It's a large mailing box. Not a flat rate. This is not flat rate. This is a large mailing box. Okay? So, you've got this all sealed up. Now you got your empty box. What are you going to line it with? Your rectangular bubble wrap, right? So you're going to place this down inside boom right this is awesome guys this is fantastic nice surface on the bottom okay you got a nice bubble wrap on the top on the sides you're good to go 
Now, what I do is I take this and then I fill it with our newsprint. What's newsprint? Well, it's just packing paper. This is the filler paper. I use this as a little extra support. It's just regular packing paper. And again, I'll have it down below. You can buy all this. Very easy. Now, crumble this up. You want to create a small bed. And let me show you why. Just two. You only need two. You're good. That's all. Nothing big. Boom. Now you have the bubble wrap and you have that. Why would I need that? Because of cushioning. You want all of this packing to absorb any damage that could happen to the cake or the pie. You don't want the pie to absorb any damage. You want the wrap to do it. So you set this down, right? Fantastic. Now, what are we going to do about this? We have space. Perfect. No big deal. Take two more sheets. Very simple. Put it in here. Fill it up. Fill that space on the side. And fill this space on this side. You don't want the pie touching the box. Okay? You got to have filler paper, some type of bubble wrap or filler pa paper. Don't let it touch the sides of the box. Not a good idea. It will damage. Why? Because if this gets hit or in shipment, in transit, it's going to damage the pie. This absorbs all that. And then simply fold this over. Look at this. Fold it over and then seal it up. And now we're ready for the throw test, as I mentioned. All right, let's put some packing tape on this. Where's my packing tape, guys? All right, here we go. All right, so packing tape. Okay. Bam. And now here we go. I'm going to take this off. And like I said, I'm going to show you how we do this with the throw test. You ready for this? All right, let me just move this out of the way. I'm almost running out of battery time on my, on my camera here. Okay, so here is the cake or the pie. You saw it, didn't change it up, no magic tricks. Okay, and here's, here we go. All right, so I threw the, threw the pie, okay? Similar to what may happen during transit, right? When you ship it. Okay, let's take a look at the pie. I'll show you what I mean. Oh, oof. there we go. Sorry about that. Okay. My goodness, I'm 44 years old, I'm running out of breath. That's crazy. Okay. All right, so let's cut this open. And let's do this. I'll show you how well the pie managed the throw test. I know you guys are riveted. You're thrilled. You're excited. You're thinking, wow, I just watched this whole 10 minute video for this. I'm not going to disappoint you. Trust me. Look at this. Bam. Exactly the same as when I had it just now. And that, my friend, is how you ship a pumpkin pie, sweet potato pie, or a soft top pie. All right, guys, if this was helpful, as always, please do give me a big thumbs up. And, of course, I'm going to actually go eat this now because I worked up an appetite. That's it. If you guys have any questions about this, uh, definitely ask me. I'll be happy to try to help you as soon as I can. And I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for watching Marketing Food Online. And if you are looking to create your own food truck, start a home-based food business under the Cottage Food Law, franchise a food operation, start a packaged food business, private label your own food product, sell on Amazon, Get your own online store or sell food online. Remember to subscribe and check out these videos for more resources. Take care.